Let's continue our examples from SIPSER 1.1. Um, let's look at the language L, which is a set of strings W, where W ends with AAB. Okay, so these are strings that have a suffix AAB. So again, we want to build a DFA for L. So first, um, let's think of some example strings. So we have M should accept, okay, these are strings that are going to be in the language L. So AAB, excuse me, AAB is a string that ends with AAB. Uh, we may also have AAAB, okay, we may have BAAB. And we could have A, B, A, B, A, A, B. Um, and we could have B, B, A, A, B. Okay? So these are all examples of strings that end with A, A, B. M should reject strings that don't end with, end with A, A, B. Okay? So A is a string that does not end with AAB. B, AB, um, how about A, A, B, A, that one, um, A, A, B, B, there's that one, um, and that's five. So let's stop there, okay? So what we notice we want to do is um, we want to keep track of the sequence a, A, B. Okay? And then if we see anything after that, we're going to reject. Right? Um, I shouldn't say if we see anything. If I see A, A, B, and then a single B, I should reject. Okay? I, I will reject unless I see um, A, A, B, that sequence, and then the immediate end of the string. Right? Okay. So, um, let's try, actually I'm going to stay on the screen, let's try making a machine to recognize this language. I'm going to use a little bit um, differently named states this time. Um, in this case I'm going to have my states represent their meaning. Okay, so I'm going to introduce some semantics into my state names. So um, for reasons that will become apparent later, I'm going to call my state, uh, my initial state, uh, what's usually Q0, I'm going to call it reset. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to have a state here that means I have seen an A. So I want to trans transition from my start state to the state A if I see an A from the start state. Okay, this means I could potentially be seeing the sequence, right? We said we want to watch out for the sequence A, A, B. All right. Um, and if I see a B while I'm in my start state, I'm just going to stay in my start state. Okay, it means I haven't started seeing this sequence yet. All right. So, now I've got all the transitions I need out of the reset state, right? I need one transition each on each of the two symbols. Um, I should have made it clear up here that sigma, my input alphabet was AB. So let me add that. Okay. So I've got all of my transitions out of my reset state. So now let's look at what happens if I'm in this state called A. Okay, this means I've seen um, one A. I've seen the first A in the sequence. So now if I see an additional A, this means I'm on my way, right? I could be um, creating the sequence AAB. So if I see another A, let's transition over here to a state that I'm going to call AA. Okay? Right, this means I've seen two A's in succession. All right, so if I'm in the state A, the state here, uh, what if I see a B? 
Well, can I stay put? No. If I stay put, then I'm saying that I could get the string, let me put a string um, over here. If I have the string A, B, A, I don't want to end up here in state A, A. Right, because I'm saying this has been a sequence. Not just I've seen two A's, but I've seen the sequence A, A. And if I'm playing with this string A, B, A, I don't want to end up in state A, A, because I haven't seen that sequence. There's been a B in between those two A's. Okay, so I can't go there, um, and so I can't stay put in this A state, right? What I really need to do is go back to reset. This is why I've named it reset. This means um, kind of like abort, right? Where we haven't seen the sequence, something went wrong, so abort, reset. So I'm gonna go back here, if I see a B here, okay? So now I have both of my transitions out of the A state, and so let's move to the AA state. Um, in an ideal world, I wanna end up over here. Okay, because this means I get to accept, it means I win, right? So how do I get from AA to AAB? Well, I see a B. Okay, so if I see a B when I'm in state AA, I get to move to state AAB. And you notice I made it a final state. Um, this means if I read the end of my string while uh, once I get to the state, then I want to accept, right? So for example, uh, this string up here, this machine right now would accept that string, right? I'd move from reset to A to AA to AAB when reading that string, okay? Now, what if I'm in state AA and I read an A? Do I need to go back to the reset? In this case, no. Um, and let's look at this example string to see why, okay? This example string, I see three A's followed by a B. What I mean is that um, if I read, um, so actually let me put the transition and then I'll explain why. So I wanna stay here. All right, so if I have string, uh, let's put it here, A, 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 B. I'm gonna be my machine and I'm gonna read along. So I'm in the reset state and I read an A, so I move into A, state A. All right, so then I read the next character, which is another A, and I move into state A, A. And then I read another A. Well, this isn't reason to panic, right? I don't need to abort because I still have two A's in succession. I actually have, I've had three in succession, but I still have two. And that was the sequence I was looking for. So I can stay put in this A, A state and just keep reading. And if I do read a B, which I'm going to next, that'll move me into my final state. And since that's the end of my string, I'm in a final state, so I get to accept that string. So we see that that's the correct thing to do there. All right, so so far I've got two transitions out of reset, I've got two transitions out of my A, my single A state, and I've got two transitions out of my AA state. I don't have any transitions out of my AAB state yet, and I need to in order for this to be a DFA. So what do I do um, if I've seen AAB? Well, let's look at an example. If I'm here, and I see um, this string, if I see AABA, -A -A, I know I should reject. Why is that? Because this is the part that's supposed to be at the end. What's actually at the end? This A. Okay, so if I'm in AAB and I read an A, I'm gonna bring it down over here, then I need to reset. Okay, it doesn't mean that I couldn't potentially, eventually, later, um, except if I end up actually getting the right thing at the end of the string, it just means I need to reset. I need to abort that sequence. Okay, actually, you know what, I just made a mistake on that one, so don't go there. That's not what I need to do. I need to go here, right? Do you see why? Because even if I came from AAB, if I see an A, I've still seen one A in the sequence. And that's what that state single A meant, 
right? It meant I've seen 1A in sequence. Okay, so that's what I actually needed to do there. Um, let's look at this string here, another example of a reject string. Um, so this means if I'm in state AAB and I see B, I need to reject, right? I can't stay here. I need to get out of here. And in this case, I do actually want to reset. I want to go back to the beginning. And then if I potentially, let's add a string up here. Let's add AABB -B and then um, AAB. Okay, so this is similar to the string down here, except it has an additional AAB at the end. This means after I've read um, my first AABB, -B, I've reset back to the beginning. Make this a better B. I've reset back to the beginning, and now if I read AAB, I'll end up in that final state that I wanted to get to. Okay, so this should be correct. Um, and I'll leave it up to you to walk these examples and uh, or for these strings that should accept and should reject and maybe come up with some of your own examples. And if you see anywhere that I made a mistake, because it happens, um, let me know. So let's um, still go ahead and give a formal um, description of this. So let me see if I can make some room. I think I can. Ha ha ha. Okay. Technology is great. So uh, let's do our formal description. So my set of states, Q, is going to be reset. A, in this case I put it in quotes just to keep it different from the character A, just in our diagram so we don't get confused. A, A, and then A, A, B. Okay, so that's Q. Um, I already have sigma over here, there's sigma. Um, again, like usual, I'm going to skip my delta transition just for a moment. Um, and in this case, reset is my name of my start state. So let's make our definition for M clear. Let's put it down here. M is going to be the tuple Q, sigma, which I've defined up there, uh, delta, I'm going to define that in a minute. And then my start state in this case is called reset. Okay, and I'm still going to let f be the name of my set of final states. So let's also define f. We put it up here. And in this case, the only final state I have is aab. We'll do some examples um, in later videos of having more than one final state. All right. So I said I need to define delta, and I do. So let's make a table. Let's make it here, wherever I can find room. I still have these symbols A and B, and then these are my states. Reset, A, AA, and AAB. There we go. Okay, so if I'm in the reset state and I see an A, I go to A, state A, and if I'm in reset and I see a B, I go back to ah, reset. Okay, that's a little messy. If I'm in A, state A, and I read an A, I want to go to AA. Okay, and if I read a B, I wanted to reset. Right, abort. All right. If I was in AA and I saw an A, I just wanted to stay there. Keep reading A's until I potentially see a B, if I do. And if I saw a B, um, that meant I win, right? And I get to travel over to that final state. All right, and then if I was in A, A, B, and I saw an A, I wanted to go back to state A, and if I saw a B, I wanted to go to reset. Right? Yes. Okay. So that's my delta, and that's it.
that's my machine M for L. Okay.